I just wanted to make a video. Uh, I think a lot of us face this when we are um, self-employed. Uh, it is 10.51 a.m. and I haven't listed yet. Um, listing is the core of a reselling business. It should be one of your number one tasks. But I didn't get out of bed until about 6.30. Um, it's because I had that big sourcing, uh, day yesterday. I only spent four hours, but I had to drive three hours, shop for four hours straight. Uh, I just got a drink of water in between. Like I had no, um, time in between because, um, our Wyoming Goodwills are still closing at seven. They have never recovered after COVID, uh, at least the ones in Cheyenne and Laramie. And, uh, so, you know, I have to hustle and get stuff done by seven. And as I had in my video yesterday, if you happen to watch that, I didn't know I was going to have to make a real rush trip to find more inventory. I thought I had kind of a few days this weekend to do it, but with the weather that's possibly coming in, I decided I better not take that chance. It looks like there could be a lot of, uh, road closures. So anyway, I, um, it's 1051. I slept in till 630. Then I just felt like I needed the exercise. Uh, I'm back on track with working out. Um, but for about a week and a half there over Thanksgiving, and then I got back on track for two or three good weeks. And then, um, before Christmas and into Christmas, I had no gifts wrapped. I didn't even have half my gifts ordered for a while there. So I really missed working out in any way, shape, shape or form for, uh, it might have even been two weeks. I didn't really document like I should, but it was at least um, seven to ten days or more. So I, and I was feeling kind of sluggish uh, because I'm self-employed and I work down here in my basement kind of by myself a lot of the time. Uh, you know, I just have to keep my energy up and my motivation. So um, I also do, as part of my motivation to be able to just work by yourself and get a lot of listings done in a short period of time and to kind of handle the stress of do I have inventory, don't I, is the money going to come in. No matter um, how successful you are as a, as a reseller, you are the end all. It, it all stops with you and you have to make sure that all of those things are being taken care of. So it's a different kind of stress than when I was a nurse. Uh, when I was a nurse, I felt maybe a little bit more stressed while I was at work because just to be honest, it wasn't my calling, even though I was a very safe um, nurse and I loved people and I I never, you know, had any issues. No one ever complained about me as a nurse. I always had a great rapport with the uh, the patients and everything. But I just knew in my heart of hearts it wasn't what I was meant to do in my life. And so I feel like during the day I was stressed with trying to do tasks that um, I wasn't really uh, – born to do or whatever you want to say. I wasn't naturally inclined to do them, so I had to constantly, by force, make sure that I was being a good nurse. Now that I'm reselling, uh, I'm hardly ever stressed during the day. I'm a little bit stressed for time, I guess you would say, but I'm not stressed by the tasks. I know they need to be done, and I know that to continue to be full-time, it's just what it takes. So most of the time, I stay in the same, in, in, a, in a good mindset. But recently we've had so many storms and then I've had a lot of family obligations like we all do over the holidays. So I've spent a ton of time with family and that cuts off some of my shopping time. So it wasn't just the days off. It's that when the weather was good and I could have been at the bins or could have been leisurely kind of gathering my inventory, then my family was here on those particular couple of days. And then when... Um, the weather is bad. Like now I could be at the bins as far as my, my work that needs to be done and, and organization. I'm ready to go to the bins. I am well able now. I have listings that will be up and ready to go. So I could take three days off now and go sourcing, but now there's weather coming in. And that is just part of living in Wyoming. But this has been, I would say, excessively bad. I wouldn't even say that the weather's been worse. I would just say that the wind and a few things have all kind of come together to make it very difficult for me to get enough inventory on the right days. So, um, 
the point of that is that mentally I have to do a lot to be able to handle the stress of running my own business, making sure that I'm not uh, overly stressed with the little details of it. So this morning, you know, that involves, for me, I'm a Christian person, but uh, so, you know, I did a few devotions, then I do a little bit of motivation, and then I do a little bit of journaling. And uh, that helps, for the most part, keep me balanced and on track. As I said in my video yesterday, uh, it didn't work. I had a little bit of a, a pity party meltdown about having to repack my whole suitcase and hop back in the car when I had just gotten home from the holidays and, uh, you know, to, to go rush to source when I thought I had planned my week well and I thought I could go today and tomorrow. I realized yesterday that uh, at least the forecast, um, which I'm not seeing any snow yet, so maybe they forecasted it and I panicked for no reason. But anyway, uh, based on the forecast, it would not have been smart for me to wait till today and tomorrow to store. So I panicked, you know, had a little bit of a meltdown, got in the car. And so today I needed to make sure that I was rested, had a workout, and was in the right mindset now. Because um, when I gear up to go on those trips... I, there's a lot of work involved to get ready to go so that you can take those days off and still have drafts going up. And then also it's kind of the fun part of the job. So I had psyched myself up to be able to go today, get a hotel in Denver, go sourcing. Maybe my husband and my and the dog were going to come with me. And that was kind of the plan for the week. And that's what I had potentially thought my week was going to look like. Now I shopped in four hours. Thankfully I found amazing stuff. Um, I'm going to do a haul video. Uh, later today after this um, while I sort my stuff so if you see this then uh, my very next video in a few hours will be uh, my haul but uh, so now I'm disappointed now it's Thursday and the sourcing is the fun part so now I I'm glad I have enough to list I'm trying to be grateful but I don't want to list today I had planned on being on the road having fun eating out in Denver that kind of stuff so so um, Anyway, I'm glad that I did the workout, the mental, the rest. I got all that done. Then I have six orders going out, which isn't much, but I did not list yesterday. I do not miss my listing goal very often at all, but at 1, at one o'clock in the afternoon, I had to make that decision. Do I run out of inventory for the weekend or do I go get it? And I came home last night. It was about 10 o'clock at night by the time I got home. And I had to also stock up on a few groceries to make sure that I can just concentrate on listing the next five days and um, there's certain foods and and things that we need supplies that I can't get out of town and um, so I had to uh, you know grab those and uh, and so I wasn't home till 10 o'clock at night we unloaded real quick and I had packed a whole suitcase and everything else thinking that I might get stuck so I had to re-unload the same suitcase, the same cooler, the same stuff that I never even opened or used. My laptop had to be reset up. So I, I just felt like it was fair to get the rest. Um, I work twice as hard and twice as fast when I'm rested and I've worked out. I found out the hard way that uh, I can go on four or five hours of sleep if I'm sourcing. Even if I'm driving, I never get tired really driving or falling asleep because it's kind of a day off. But for me to be down here and just go task to task to change, to list, to ship, to do, to send offers, and then to get right back to listing, for me to have the, the mental energy to do that, I have to do uh, several things in my life. So... I, like I said, I have uh, five or six orders going out and one is a $150 pair of Levi's that are salvaged denim. Um, I had them, I think at 200 initially, but uh, I came down with a sale that I had and then they made me a $150 offer plus shipping and I was thrilled with that today. That gives me, you know, the feeling that even though I haven't listed yet, my sales haven't dropped. Um, I mean, I guess they technically have because normally on a day I sell between 10 and 12 items if I've listed. The algorithm likes that. And uh, so today, I guess technically my number of sales are down. So I want to come home, take care of that right away. And then I want to film this haul video for you. I want to show you what I was able to do in four hours. And um, I truly, I, you know, um, I don't want to push religion on anyone, but I really prayed yesterday because I did not want to stay another night out of town. And I, and you know, I, I would have been taking a risk of getting trapped for four days 
And so I found so much stuff that I never find in four hours um, that it is crazy. It is crazy. But I had to drive three hours to go get it and four hours to find it. And then grocery store, I said hi to my mom uh, in this town where she lives, and that's where I sourced. Said hi to her for literally five minutes. I would have stayed longer, but uh, we just had a huge holiday together. And uh, so I just wanted to stop in and tell her I may not see her for six or seven days. And uh, so now, like I said, uh, when I started this video, it's 1051 and I'm just now going to the post office and I'm going to go source at my local thrift real quick. It's a, a really small town thrift. I don't love going there. Um, you know, they know I'm a reseller. I've lived here for uh, over 25 years and a lot of the women are very nice, and then there's those few who um, think that I'm selling J. Jill for, you know, $500, and if I pick it, then it must be some secret, uh, secret long-lost antique item that they let slip by, and, and you can just see kind of the stress in their face when I'm in there, you know, with a few of them. Thankfully, there's some others, and I've worked really, really hard to get to know them. Uh, I cycle with a, with a few of them. I go to cycling with some of them, and... And, um, so, so it's not my favorite place to go, but I'm, I really need to go make myself do it to see if I can get enough inventory. Uh, and, uh, and I have pulled some good things out of there the last, uh, few weeks. I won't lie. So maybe they are right. Maybe I am going in and, uh, paying five bucks for things that are worth $165. So, so they, they probably, you know, aren't dumb either. And they have figured out that once in a great while I do pull some, pull some good things that they let slip, um, in the last four weeks there, I guess what I've pulled was a, a, a Pyrex um, friendship dish thing. I, I hate hard goods and I really hate glass, but I was desperate that week. So I just happened to look it up. And at first I listed it for like 90 bucks. And then I realized that it was like the Dutch friendship one. And because this is totally out of my niche and it was only out of desperation that I even did it. And then I also, what did I pull? I pulled something for a couple hundred dollars. It was, oh my goodness. <laughs> I should have looked it up before I said that. Um, I don't know. I got a few C.C. Filson pieces. One was like only worth 50 and then the hat, surprisingly, um, was only worth like 18 uh, It wasn't worth near as much as I thought, but I had paid a couple bucks, so it was fine. But anyway, I, I it was some jacket or something. If I remember right, I've sold so much stuff in the last few weeks. Um on my next video if I remember I'll tell you but anyway I'm gonna go I gotta go get this mail done it's 1104 still have not listed a thing I I have a lot prepped that I want to show you before I list and uh anyway have a great day guys I'll be back in a few hours bye-bye